Okay, in this case you have a rod which has a force of 10 pounds at this end and then it's being supported by two blocks. You got a block at this end and you got a block at this end. Then there is point of contact at C, then there's another point of contact at B, then you have another point of contact at A. Those are the three points of contact. <coughs> now, if I, need, if I start looking, let's say point C. Now at point C, this rod cannot go up and down, or this block is going to make sure that this rod is not going in vertical direction. So I could place an unknown force in that direction to call this as, let's say, NC. So this rod can move like this, it could rotate like this. The only thing which is not going to happen is it can go perpendicular to that block. So that's one force. Then you go to the B. Same thing. I mean, along this direction, I mean, it could slide like this, it could rotate like this, but there is no movement perpendicular to this line. I mean, if this angle was 90 degrees, then there is no movement in that direction. You place another force here, call this as NB. <coughs> exact same logic can apply at point A. It could slide like this, could rotate like this, but there is no movement along this. So I could place another force here, call this as NA. So you got three reactions. You will have NC, NB, and NA. These are your three unknown forces. Now <coughs> you notice that I chose direction arbitrarily. I mean, if I had, I mean, if I have this rod again like this. There's a force here, which was 10 pounds. I chose NC to go like this, chose NB to go like this, and chose NA to go like this. Now, <coughs> at this point, we really don't know whether this should go up or down. Same thing with this. I mean, there's no way we to know that's going to go this way or this way. Or same way goes with this. I mean, we don't know it's going to go this way or this way. So you have a choice. I mean, as long as you're consistent with the direction, I mean, there's nothing to say that I can't change this to like this. So y you have a choice of switching directions. I mean, same thing with this. There's nothing to say that it can't go like this. Or there's nothing to say this can't go like this. You have the choice on the directions. Because once you go through the equation of equilibrium, and if you get a negative sign, I mean, you got this is a magnitude 50 with a negative sign. And let's say this thing was going up. So really, this thing is 50 going down like this. So in the beginning, you do have a choice on how you're going to place your reaction. But once you placed it, then you go through the equations and then at that point, the actual sign will tell you whether the direction you chose was correct or you need to switch that direction. Now there are two more little things we need to do. One is called as the two-force system. <coughs> 